and here is a list of the Ecological Age infrastructure. We can introduce new tram and bus services, reduce car dependency, noise, pollution and energy use and improve quality of life. Also we can improve walking and cycling access. Homes can be brought back into city centres with higher density mixed-use developments around transport nodes. Buildings can be retrofitted street by street to improve energy and water efficiency and to collect and store rainwater runoff. Lower noise and greening of streets will help with this. Combined heat and power plants at these new developments can provide a more efficient renewable source of heat and power. Algae can be produced in the city to run these plants. As well as tree planting, to reduce heat island effects, the walls of buildings can be green too. Solar energy can be gathered on walls and roofs using photovoltaic panels. Food can be grown economically on rooftops and inside buildings using hydroponics, LED lighting and nutrients from the city waste stream. Raising the biodiversity of the city will make the city healthier, particularly by nighttime cooling in the summer. New communication services can enable people to choose a much more sustainable low footprint lifestyle. For example, real-time travel information can provide journey plans over a personal PDA which can be checked on arrival at a tram or bus stop. Information on building and overall city energy performance can help incentivise everyone to support the performance of the whole city. We now know that cities of the future will be ones where we can live a higher quality of life in harmony with the natural world.